That was a bad idea. Good day, everyone! Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Brock's Christmas candy is the best. It's minty, it's yummy, but you don't want to refrigerate it because you can chip a tooth. Mr. Fang of Truth, what is happening, buddy? Mmm, yummy. So you feeling better? Yeah? Sure, yeah. I mean, sure, yeah. I mean, don't just, you know, don't just give us the big joy. Man, I'm feeling great, G. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who didn't catch the news show yesterday, Fernando was out sick. It happens. What's up from Kentucky? Timmy from Michigan. My hometown. Yeah. Hi. Green from East L.A. It's like up? a chicken. Isn't that a Cheech and Chong movie? East L.A.? Or is that a song? Uh, Connecticut. Carson, Nevada. New York in the house. Compressor. Is that on? I don't know. I might, it's it's turn it off. might be. Did you turn it off? Mm -hmm. Okay. New Hampshire. It's where the hobbits live in the Shire. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Greenville, Tennessee, Texas in the house. Is there a bass playing in the background? There is pl bass playing in the background. It's the barber shop next door to us. Apparently they're just beating the crap out of their Sonus system. Apparently they, they think it's like awesome. So we get to hear a soundtrack tonight. How cool is that? Hmm. Oh, sorry, let me fix this, lock that in place. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm spectacular. So tonight we have one heck of a show, Minnesota. Don't you know? I'm uh, gonna drop my car money to get done here in Texas. Gonna do morale highs and DD subwoofer. Matt's amps also. That's the plan, anyways. Portugal is here. Everyone can rest. Oh, Lumi Day 35. 35. It felt like that over in the showroom today. I had to go over there and make a couple phone calls. Mm -hmm. So like. Three guys, two guys, two or three guys got got phone calls today, so that, they were really happy. Uh, what's up, Rhode Island here? And you guys are my favorite to watch. Just audio. Yeah, I like what you, what you do. Who? It's cool. Uh, just audio. Just audio. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Juan from Texas. LOL. Um, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, born in East LA. Movie Cheech and Chong did without Chong. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. See, I knew it was there. Uh, I wish I could show you guys my progress for my five-star inspirational install. Well, if you have pictures of it, there's a good place you can go to show them off. And what could that possibly be? The 12 volt Clean Wire Club. That's right. For all you guys that are, uh, you know, doing clean wire like this gentleman here. If you do clean wire, you get the pick for the top. Fernando will pick that for you. Yep. Uh, and for those of you that aren't members, you should. But if you want to watch something fun this week uh we went on and did a story time with dean and fernando it was more story time with dean because one of us had to work which was fernando it was a fuse holder so to be fair you know he was, he was doing his fancy fuse holder but it was a nice little video to watch um and there was a, there was a message it had a moral yes it was good and everyone thought you were kind of funny why <laughs> i don't know just because you were being you you know yeah i caught it all yeah. So anyways, make sure you head over to the 12 Oak Clean Wire Club. Um, lots of new things going on over there. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I'm yes. excited because we got we got cool things happening. We got so much coolness coming in the next couple weeks. Uh, I don't even know where to start. From the beginning. Uh, no, but if you go to DNF Tool Drawer, um, you can find the foam that you're asking about. So let's see. Let's yep. go over. Yep. Let's go back to the laptop. We'll go here to dnftooldrawer.com, and then we'll come over here to install stuff, and we'll scroll down, and boom, right there, right at the top of the page. There's your foam, half inch, quarter inch. It's right there. And mm -hmm. if you click on it, that's what it's called. That's it. That's all you got to do. I know, so easy. We try to make this easy and fun. Vancouver, hey, totally. 
Washington, El Fuego, what's going on, what's man? Up? Okay, so let's talk about Dina Fernando. What's up, boys? Happy Turkey Day. Uh, oh, yeah, they have a curlew in California. God, you should have heard it yesterday, Nalika, on the meeting before it started, uh -huh. uh, on the Zoom part of it. <laughs> there was only like five of us on there, but man, he was dropping some like, oh, oh that was great. Why? Uh, cause of the curfew in California. Mm -hmm. They have like some really crazy curfew going on now and it's like, uh, I mean, hey, whatever it takes. Um, anyways, let's talk happy. Let's get back to happy. What is going on, you say? Well, as, as pointed out, Turkey Day is coming up. Mm hmm And with that, that brings us to our annual, that means once a year, show from the beach. So that's when the two of us and Haley hang out at the beach and we do a live show usually at 10 o'clock eastern standard time i pick him up so that he has to come we don't meet him there and yeah. we do live we do an hour from the beach so for those of you guys that are freezing and just uh, are getting up and getting ready or whatever it's just a fun show we do that is this will be like the fourth year i think this is the fourth or fifth year that we've done this Really? Yeah, I know. I yeah, because I I think this will be year number four because last year was cloudy, Windy. and then the two years before that. So I think this is the fourth annual. Yeah, this is the fourth year we've done this. So Thanksgiving morning, ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's the show from the beach. So we're gonna be Thursday morning. We're gonna be up. Uh, it gives you guys something to do. So if you know the kids are running around or still sleeping or whoever, yeah, we have fun. We do stuff, and it is a lot of good and yeah we just have a good time so we're excited to do that uh haley's excited because then after that we're going to take her over and shoot her graduation pictures nice yeah nice. so she's pretty stoked about that so fun thing number one thursday 10 o'clock eastern standard time on youtube we'll be doing yeah. the live show then december is right around the corner it's like that next week the 7th december 7th 12 days of Christmas starts. Oh, and that reminds me. We, uh, supposedly, we have a package coming, he said. Because Nalika said. So, oh, okay. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, the set, see, I know we've been together all day, we haven't talked. Because the laser's been running all day, and it's just making lots of noise. Because that brings us to the third thing we're excited about, that we can't talk about, but we'll talk about. Um, so, December 7th starts the 12 days of Christmas. So we're going to start revealing everything. There'll be a calendar. There's a whole bunch of stuff you guys are going to win. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's like 15 days of nonstop gift-giving excitement. It's legit the most insane giveaway that you'll ever see. Um, where's today's? You got, is that on? Which one? Can we switch to yeah. this? Yeah. Um, one of the things you'll be getting what do you need? Um, is the woofer there on the floor. Do you want to pull it up here on the table? Is this. This is a giveaway. If you guys caught the video of this, it, it's not a port. It's a whole box. Um, the Ground Zero 8-inch. I can that pull is, it out. Yeah, that's, here. I'll just, here. Well, why are we going to look at me? I can just, oh. Oh, I broke it. Oh, uh, there it is. There it is, right there. The Ground Zero GZ RB for radioactive 20 SPL. These are available in the United States, by the way. Everyone uh, saw the comments. People were like, these aren't available. I did not order this from Europe, okay? It, it came, They you can get those, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in the show. But this is a giveaway. So you're going to win this and the Sound Digital 800.1. This is, this is what you're going to get from these guys because Ground Zero and Sound Digital both come from the wow. same uh, rep firm. What did I knock over? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let me go back to this. Did it live? Yeah. I didn't break it? No. Okay, good. I would have paid for it. You almost did. Oh, well, sorry. Soda. Anyways, um, so that's that. That's on the small side as far as things we're going to win. We're yes. also giving away a Ground Zero 4-channel amplifier slash DSP. So it's an 8-channel DSP with four channels of 70 watts by four built into it and then four outputs. So that is coming up. I mean, dude, we got so much cool shit. Stuff, sorry. <laughs> then, on top of that, we have a new product that we've come out with that's gonna be available for mobile solutions that we can't talk about because they're gonna do the release on it. But suffice it to say, it's gonna be awesome. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. 
I don't know. It's a, you guys know what I mean. But it's going to be cool. That's going to be... Hopefully, we're going to release that next week for you guys to purchase. Um, it's going to be a buy thing because it's Mobile Solutions and us teamed up to come out with a cool product. So we're really excited about that. I'm, I'm personally super excited about that because this has been something I've wanted to do for a long time. There was a little hiccup in the road a couple months back, but we're back on track. We decided to wait till December and yeah, so uh, can I bribe you for a test CD? No, you can still win one though. Friday mornings at nine o'clock on Dean and Fernando's Carstero Clips YouTube channel when we do the news. So we still have a ton of those to give away. So we will be giving away disc probably for the next five, six weeks. So you have plenty of opportunity to win. Dean, favorite ride at Disney? I'll have to think about that one. I, I don't really have, I don't really have a favorite ride, I don't think. Although the new Star Wars ride was really cool just because it's visually like amazing. Um, not the Millennium Falcon one, the Rise of the Resistance. That ride is like next level crazy. Like how do you spend a billion dollars at a theme park? You build that ride. So, all right. All right. What is your opinion on the Rockport T5 components? I have a T2 ROM passive on my T600.4. Now, and my wife just got me two sets of T5s. Wow. And wondering, Rockets? yes. Wow. And wondering if is there a big enough difference to just switch them. Wow. So, do you have T5s. an answer to the question? I never heard the T5s. I never had the opportunity to hear the T5s, but I was in love with the T5s. So, uh, what does he want to do? Change the, the T2s to or the, the T5s. T5s. Yeah. Oof. I mean, it's definitely like a more. That's that was a, the mo that was the high end Rockford speaker. I mean, the Rockford. crossover on them is like is yeah. like that big. You know, yeah. it's like double the size of the T2s. I mean, if you have it, just. That's, I would totally use. Put those. it on, yes. Why not? I mean, yeah. your wife loves you. Use those. Yes, yes, definitely. What is the best crossover point for your tweeters? Well, that's something you have to have some information about your tweeters. You need to know. Um, <laughs> you need you need to have some numbers, and then you can do some simple math. Um, and of course, today is Saturday, so my brain just hit a, <laughs> hit a freaking. Yeah. Uh, uh, what am I looking for here? It's a, what, what is that called? Ah, oh, jeez. It's the... Uh, what are we talking about? The tweeter, setting the crossover point. What is the number I'm looking for? Um, uh, tweeter setting crossover? Dude, the, the math. The, what, what is it called? The F what? F, uh, FS? FS. Jesus, thank you. Free air residence. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had a roadblock there. Brain freezes up every now and then. All right, so you need to know the FS of your tweeter. tweeter. It's a yeah. frequency, okay? And then you're gonna multiply that by two, three, or four, depending on what you're planning on, you know, what, what you wanna do. Uh, minimum, I would suggest multiplying the FS is by two at 24 dB. That'd be a minimum, that'd be like straight up minimum. Uh, so for example, if your FS is 1500 or 1600, then you'd set the uh, crossover point for 3.2 or 3200. That's just how it works. Um, some manufacturers want you to multiply by four. So like, for example, when you look at like a Focal, mm -hmm. they want a crossover point of 5,000 at 24 dB. All right, so it varies. Now you look at somebody like Morel, whose FS is extremely low, you might end up crossing their speakers over like or even Audison sometimes, or the Hertz tweeters. Those cross over like 2,600? Was it, was it 20, yeah, it was 2,600 we did those uh, millis. Really? I think it was like 26, because I called and I was like, dude, uh, I'm getting like a, an FS of 1,300, is that right? And he's like, yeah. I was like, so 26 is cool? He's like, all day long. I was like, crazy. All right, so, so it just depends. Once you know the FS, you can then figure out what your crossover. Thank you. I don't know why. It was just, I hit a roadblock there. <laughs> Do you guys ever think about getting the right Warhorse working? Uh, no, there's no preamp section in the Warhorse. So they, they took the, the whole preamp section out of that. I don't know who that is. I can't see. Um, they, they took the whole preamp section out of it. So it's, it's purely just a gift. 
Um, but the rest of it is in there, so there's all the cool um, uh, planar power supplies and all that stuff are all inside of there, so it's pretty nice. Um, I need more gain. We always need more gain. It's never loud enough. That's one of the things I came to the conclusion this morning I was talking to you about. Um, I didn't think you to jump. Oh, you're going to jump them? That'd be like Friday all over again. Do the show by myself. Anyways, this morning I was driving to work. Story with Ian real quick, then we'll get back on track. I apologize. I was driving to work this morning, rocking my system. Had the windows down because it's like that cool 68, 65, you know, that like window down weather. And I was jamming out, listening to some Tube Snake Boogie from ZZ Top. And I was like, it can never get loud enough. Ever. Uh, Folk is French, soon to be German. Okay, we know that. I mean, we know it's French. The, the Germans are going to buy them? Or are they just going to take over France? I mean, it's happened before. Uh, who's at the door? Somebody who needs a jump. And Fernando, of course, is going to take our jump box out there and make their night. Because we don't want anything bad. Uh, Dina, 2006 F-150 mounting the 6x8s in the front door speakers. Do you mount it to the plastic door panel or do you cut it out so that you can mount it to the door itself? Mount it to the plastic door panel. It's, yes, just go to the plastic door panel. It's perfectly fine doing that. The only time you remove the plastic is if you're going to go with like a 6.5, in which case you have to remove all that plastic. Uh, but otherwise, no, it's just go to the... the, the you're fine. The, you don't ever... I agree, never loud enough. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, no, he'll, he's, he's just giving somebody a jump. He'll be right back. Uh, it, their car battery, that is. Uh, go, go big, you can always turn down, you never get louder. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. But, you know, so I was just jamming out. It was wonderful. Uh, do I need to rip everything out and start over with zero gauge? I mean, it's up to you. You could. I doubt it. Maybe. Carjacking. Uh, favorite food at Disney? Uh, probably the pretzels. I like the pretzels. I always talk about the pretzels. Well, yeah, you like pretzels. I like pretzels. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big soft pretzel guy. So, I mean, although I haven't had a pretzel there, they also have root beer floats, which, I mean, you can get those pretty much anywhere, but I like the pretzels. I mean, it's, I like pretzels the too. food there pretty much sucks most of the time. I mean, it's not bad. Like, Haley, we got this chicken sandwich, but, you know. Did you got El Fuego? I did not do El Fuego. I was waiting for you. All right, El Fuego, he dropped $5. Moving from 2016 Tacoma to the 2021 Ford Runner. Ooh. Add a Rockford 1005 AD okay. to the one I have with the DSR-1 or start over with the audio control amplifiers. What will you do? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm guessing it's non-JBL. I don't know. I'm assuming it's not JBL. Right. <sighs> it's not Victor, man. I don't know. I mean, I, I like them both. I mean, it's like one amplifier, this is small. You can put it under the, under the, uh, keep talking. Under the seat, it's fine. Um, what is that? That's Jesus. That's Buddy Jesus, bro. Because. Yeah. Uh, I, Icarus Rising is, is using Buddy Jesus for his So, thing. Oh, my bad. It, um, yeah, so Rockford, perfectly fine. You know, you don't have to run a lot of wires. If you're going to go with two audio control amplifiers, like the 4.800, D4.800, 1.800, of course, is more money that you want to spend. All right, so here's um, my thought. This is what I'm going to say. I already own the 1005 and the DSP. Mm -hmm. I've already played with it. I've mm -hmm. already used that. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on to something else. I because mean, you have I, the money, okay, yeah. We only live once, right? Yeah. So if I've already rocked that and I'm, I'm already on the fence about do I upgrade to something else, mm -hmm. I'm going to upgrade to something else because I've already rocked that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It'll work, but I want to play something else. Yeah, you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean... Granted, there's nothing wrong with that option, but like everyone else in car audio, if you can, if you got a new car, you need all new stuff, man. Let's start with it. You got a new pencil. Let's get a new piece of paper. Let's 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 start over again. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, hey Dean, I have a kicker key. I would benefit. 
uh, would I benefit from upgrading to the 2004? So we did that in Haley's car. So we there were, we we went from the uh, 1.8, oh, Jesus, the 180.4. I hate that to the 200. 200. And was there a difference loudness wise? Not really. Um, well, maybe a little. I mean, it was it was. I wouldn't do it unless you're just one of those guys like myself that if there's a new one that just came out, I should do it. But I would probably skip that one and wait. You, you see what I'm saying? Maybe mm -hmm. skip this iteration and wait. Yeah. However, with the new AKM facility, uh, or with the AKM facility being uh, burned to the ground, uh, we might be waiting a little longer than we had hoped, but. Yeah. Adding a subwoofer to the 2017 Ford Flex without Sony, Crutchfield recommend a DSR-1 and a harness, but now don't have sound from the door speakers, just the sub and the center dash. Correct. Um, so are we not doing a full system? No, it's just, just adding a... Um, just adding a sub? Adding a sub. Well, then nothing else is going to work. Yeah, you'd have to add... Without the Sony system. I'm confused. Because, I mean, if you're adding the DSR-1, you have to add amp for your highs. It's not, an, it's not an integration It's not an integration tool. It's not a high level to low It's not low a high level. level to low level. It's a full high level to low level. So you'd have to have amps for mids and highs and all that other fun stuff. So. Yeah, because you, dis you, you disconnect and everything. Yeah, so, I mean, are we missing something here? Because mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be why you have no sound, because you're not using the radio for anything. If you're just using it for a high level to low level for your subs, and you can loop the wires back around and, and be good. Yeah. But I mean, that's going to be like a, high, a very expensive $200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not going to... Icarus yeah. Rising, doing an 8-inch shallow mount under the front seat of my Armada. By the way, thank you for the $15. Which do you prefer, Focal Flax or the L7T? Those are two really good options. But I'm still going to do the L7T. L7T? So flax, flax, flax 8 inch or an L7T? Ooh, man. That's not... I'm doing the L7T. 7T 12? I think, I think I, yeah, I think I'm doing, no, these are t 8 inch underneath the seats, the front seats of a car. Oh, wow. So underneath the front of the Armada, you know how it has like the little six inch subwoofer on the passenger on the driver's side? Did they fit, really? You could probably get them to fit if you're wow. if you're if you've got some uh I mean, this, if you got a bitchin' set of tools. Okay. You yeah. know? I would yeah. you know. I don't know, I almost just get that JBL box. Put one <sighs> one eight underneath each seat like That's we had cool. on Instagram yeah. the other day, the mm -hmm. fuse yeah. or fusion or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Put one six and a half. I was one, impressed with that. I put that underneath each seat and then just like save the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, hold on, hold on. After Dean telling me about reversing my time alignment on my Pioneer 8500, I'm really happy, but I have no audio. But I have an audio control DM810 in my closet, ready to put it in, and make a huge difference. Yes or no? Okay. If I do this, I can't see anything. If I do this, I can read now. That would be the difference. That would be the difference. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, you got Ronnie? Ronnie. Ronnie, thanks for the 10 bucks. And then it disappears. And that's all we got. No, okay, hold on. Uh, Dean, I want to remove my stock Sony amp on my F, well, 2015 F250 with the DSR-1, but use my but, but use my DSP and my 808. How do I configure it? All right, real quick. It's a Ford F150, 2015. Sorry, I, 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 right. I, what did I say? 250. Okay, my bad. So, all right, let me read it again so you can get a good All right, cut. so hang on. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me, let me find Ronnie right Don't worry, here. we're going to get your answer. All right, because I have to edit it, so this is better for me. I, I, yeah, I was going to say I, All right, I, Dean, I want to remove my stock Sony amplifier on my 2015 F-150 with the DSR-1, but use my DSP in my A100A, how do I configure it? All right, so when you plug in 
your DSR one into yeah. your laptop yep. and you flash it, mm -hmm. it's going to set it up. Uh, you're going to go through all the little buttons and you're going to tell it, you're going to answer all the little questions. So mm -hmm. that, that turns it into the interface portion of it. So it's kind of like the Ant Pro portion of it. Um, then down here on the bottom, once you're looking at the software, either on an iPad or an iPhone or Android, where it says setup device, you're going to hit this icon here at the top of the gears and you're going to select Maestro, OK. This is your channel output, all right? So it has nothing to do with anything other than how many of the RCAs you're planning on using coming out of the DSR-1. It has eight available for you. Six would be highlighted right now. Seven would be highlighted there. All eight of them would be active at this point. Now, you're going into an eight channel. I think that's six channels of input on the eight. I think, I don't remember. Either way, if you're just gonna be having front, rear, sub, which is more than likely what you're gonna be doing, because even if you're gonna do like front components, rear, all that's gonna be handled in the uh, JL8.8. So let's say you select the basic front, rear, sub output, select OK, got it. And then if you're not gonna be using the base knob that come that is for the DSR1 because you're using the JL, select not connected, select OK, and that's it, all right? Come back, or cancel. Come back to home, come over to setup, select manage presets, and make it a preset. All right, so what you do is you add the plus, you hit the plus button here, and download from device is what you're gonna select. It's gonna pop up, and then you're gonna come over here and select this, and you're gonna send uh, upload to device, which is grayed out right now. Once you've done that, you're done. You don't have to do anything else. If you go back to home and you select tune, you'll notice where it says basic and it says advanced. In advanced, I'm sorry, in basic, it's just a seven band EQ, which sometimes is available when you do a uh, replacement Sony. Most of the time it is not because it's defaulting to the bass mid and treble on your radio. Um, so that may or may not be available to you. But when you come to tune, You'll notice that the EQ is flat. The crossover is also flat. The time alignment is off. And the level controls are all set, oh, I did that, are all set to zero. Mm -hmm. So it is set up as a preamp at that point. You don't have to do anything to it other than what you've just done in the setup. None of the other features will be done. Now you can go directly into your JL software and have all the fun of setting that up. And that's it. One thing that you may, you know, you could still use this EQ if you want to, because it's from your phone and it's a little bit easier to play with. Um, but that's up to you. All right. That's all uh, you have to do. First, I'm gonna say, Harry. Harry is the man. He dropped fifty dollars. Holy he crap, say, Harry! Awesome. Love the channel. Harry's Thank you. the man. Thank you, Harry. Uh, off access tweeters versus on access tweeters via dm and 608 thoughts huh? Huh. yeah huh? Depends. Huh. has to do with your ears off see i off. always get confused like that sometimes would, well, it's like course, okay because totally every time on we... access and no, then that's off access so if they're if they're here if they're in the dash they're on dash. it they're with your eyeballs if so they on access. The, they're on access. If so this is off access. access from your eyeballs. See, but that's like. I know. It, <laughs> as far as which one works better. Yeah. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, Switch it. I. I, I it's mean, not it's even. Not there's a, no not on even, access, no. off access on those in the DSP. No, that's no, 180 no. degrees out of phase. Yes. That's not on off. That's no, not an not. on and off not. access. That's totally that's different. Totally different. Um, but. As far as setting them up, honestly, I, 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 I haven't lost any sleep on either one of them. Quadraphonic or surround sound? Surround sound, quadraphonic sucked. I mean, it was cool because we had four speakers in the 70s, but not that exciting. Just didn't have four speakers. Huh? Yeah, but you uh, had a delay. <laughs> Lawrence. I can't get my Thanks, DSL Lawrence. program four in sync, one, one radio. 
If you're having issues, there again, if you have issues with iData, the best place to go is to call iData. Um, great customer support. Uh, for sure, some of the best customer support out there. Actually, the best customer support. Um, did I put them up today? Holy cow, I didn't put them up today. All right. Uh, looking to replace the stock head unit with an iPad. Pioneer AMPR, right I think here. it's in Europe. Yeah. Can I use a half a din graphic EQ from Clarion? Half din graphic EQ. Half din graphic EQ from Clarion to control my sound. One of those with the knobs, seven ball pre outs and three pair of RCAs. Well, yeah. Sure, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a seven man global EQ. And for those of you that don't know what, what I mean when I say global EQ, global EQ is something that controls all six channels so it's one one row of equalization but every speaker that's attached in the pipeline is a global eq so like when we were on the rockford i said it has a seven band eq that would be like that clarion it's a global eq so when you raise treble it raises all the treble and you raise bass it raises all the bass Behind it is where all the other equalization is done. And that equalization is done to, like on the DSR-1, that equalization is done to match left to right. That is something you can't do with the Clarion. Some people care about that, some people don't. Doesn't matter. Just because you have uh, a tweeter here and a tweeter here and they're identical tweeters, that doesn't mean they're gonna sound the same by the time they get to your ears. They don't, they sound totally different. It's guaranteed they're totally different. You look at an RTA and you go, oh, oh you wouldn't think that. I mean, mid-bass right. and doors, totally different. But All yes, right. you can use what you're going to use. All right, All right, hang on. Sorry. The show is going to stop. We're going to answer this question. Are we going to collaborate and listen? Yeah, please. Okay, Bill Sterling, I haven't seen you question. You asked about the fourth generation Camaro, but what is the question? I don't know. If you type the question I can find it so what's his name Bill uh, Bill and no I'm not trying to uh, ignore you the the question I got plenty of questions that I'm trying to get through so if you can type it again I will answer it or he will answer it but all Ooh. right so there you go what is the question do we have a question? No, he said, I asked the past five lives for streaming, it's nothing. This is your time. Everybody stops. We're gonna wait for the, his question. Type it. Yeah. I mean. Um, it's a 2000, I don't know what year is the. I mean, if there's any other YouTube channel out there that does this kind of thing, please let me know. <laughs> it's a four generation Camaro. See, I like, for me, uh, I'm not getting into the third generation, fourth generation, Give me a year. third generation. Yeah, year, both system, not both system. I think, a, I think a, well, it'd be Boston Acoustic. Uh, yeah, I think a fifth. I think mine's a fifth. Uh, all right. Well, why Bill is typing right. that? Uh, so is it there? He, he asks. I oh. ask if you have any videos on mine base installs, and no response. Okay. I mean, you, you got to stop in the show, so type us the best question you can. Um, I mean, seriously. I mean, if it's a fifth gen, there again, what year? I mean, you can, you can, I mean, you I mean, can do a whole, lot of stuff. We have the whole car stereo you know? lab on my car where we, we went in and talked about the Boston acoustic stereo in there. Yeah. Uh, we replaced the radio a dozen times in it. Uh -huh. um, uh, Dean, yours is a fifth gen. Okay, okay, so yeah, mine is a diff. So we have the whole car stereo lab in yeah. there. Mid bass. Right. What do you want to know? It's a six and a half inch mid bass in the door. It sits off the door panel about two and a half, three inches. Skosh made a great kit for it. They don't anymore. Um, Metra probably makes the best version of it. So you are going to need a fast ring. Most six and a halfs will fit in there. Yep. Like pretty much everything that they make because it sits this far off of the door panel. The only uh, thing I think you're gonna have a little bit of trouble is on the tweeter side. Because no, the tweeter fits a pretty big tweeter. If if it's big, yeah, really? yeah, I gotta set them. I got the they're up there somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, no, you can because the whole thing comes apart and you can get to the tweeter inside of it. Um, so, yeah. 
But if it's a Boston acoustic stereo, then in the back driver's side rear is the factory amplifier, and coming out of the factory radio is a variable voltage uh, four volt output that you can easily just solder on some RCAs and or buy the harness that is in the video that I talked about uh, on my car that's in the car stereo lab playlist where we talk about the Alpine PXE 0850S which is in my car now where we made a whole T harness and easily just plug that in taking out the factory amplifier oh yes it is located nice break shit uh, located right here this is the factory amplifier out of my car which we made a T harness we told mm -hmm. you how to make it um, we also yep. went through and talked about all the speakers and the frequencies that they're playing in the factory. We put both dash kits in the car. We've done the iData dash kit and we've done the pack dash kit. So we have instruction videos on how to do both of those in that car. And we just put in the DMX 0057XR in my car if you want to see what a floating screen looks like in that yep. car. Uh, and if you have everything about Fosgate, perfect. Power amplifiers, they are really nice. I don't know if they are the bigger ones or the mini T's, either one. Uh, they have plenty of power. If you're gonna stop here, you can call Paul 727-216-6170. Yes. Make an appointment, and then we go from there. All right. Back to the show. Back to the show. What's up from Mexico? Helix Mini DSP yes. on three amps feeding four mm -hmm. horns, six sixes, and two tens. Do I need more outputs in my DSP? So we got three amps. Oh, but he's, he's only got, got 12 speakers. Yeah, but it's not the speakers. It's just what he's doing with them. So if he's just using the DSP as a basic EQ, like, so remember in a DSP, there's, there's four things it does. Uh -huh. Channel level control, mm -hmm. equalization for each channel, crossover, and time alignment. You don't have to use all four things. Correct. So you could use the six-channel DSP to do tweeter, mid, and sub. So quantity doesn't mean anything, because if like if you have if you're gonna do a tweeter amp, a mid amp, and a sub amp, mm -hmm. and you have all sixes all around you and all tweeters around you, yes, the DSP will function. It's not until you have like a tweeter and a six, and a tweeter and a six, and a sub. And but that will be my question. How do you have it? Because it sounded like it was more of a loud system. Okay. Um, in which case, I would do, uh, yeah, the six channel DSP would work. Okay. Bobby, stop. Uh, K Root. Okay, go ahead. It says, um, stop the show now. I got to get back into it. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, thank you. Thank you for the 19. 99 he said you guys do stuff at no charge thank you thank you for the support all right uh did you get fly 99 i'm coming okay, okay i got it i got it right here all right. Are you ready can i read it yeah, yeah go okay ahead. fly 99 thoughts on the stinger high 10 head unit you all used it thoughts compared to other 10 inch head units um, so the high 10 and the elevate from Stinger are basically, you know, they all have the same operations. It's a little bit different, obviously, because you have form factor and size. For the price, it's an exceptional radio. It's also one of the only radios that if you're going to be building a system and want to use a uh, SP diff, Tosh Link digital output, it has that and it's variable. So you can go out of that into a DSP and have the SP diff plug in and be super cool and be like, oh, this is awesome. Um, Form factor wise, it's a 10 inch there again, the mounting, it, it, it's a nice radio. There's no question about it, it's a nice radio. Uh, you know, right now in my car, as I said, I have the, the reference series Exelon, which is the nicest radio. It's also like more, um, but it is the nicest radio. But the one feature it doesn't have is that Toshlink output. However, it has really high end DAX built into it. Nothing like the Sony GS9, it's not got a saber deck, but it's got a really nice one. So there again, form function. It is gonna be the most reasonably priced one with a knob, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. So okay. X man, I love you, man. I know, uh, right? Yeah. All right, Anthony. It's keeping our cellular phones. Anthony, working. thank you, man. Thank you for the support. Same. Uh, he say mention no names, but I purchased three different sweaters. Yours are the thickest one. Oh, it's okay. the best. Love you guys. Thank you, man. Go Teespring, go. Yeah. I love the T-Swing shirts. Yeah, they go. They awesome. You know, everyone asks, like, why we keep wearing these because the logo's, like, so dead. These are, like, two years old. Somebody asked if... Because they feel so good. 
somebody asked if you uh, UK and all these countries can be on the 12 days of Christmas so all right so good question the 12 days of Christmas is gonna be some days we are gonna be able to ship out of the US and some days we're not gonna be able so some prizes yes we can ship them anywhere we want I'll pick up the charge and you know yay um, it's some things we can't so for example if there's any form of a radio no some of the electronics no uh, just because the, for radios obviously because the tuners are different so North America is basically all that's gonna have access to those um, but on some of the days where we're just giving away amplifiers and, and generic stuff like that or speakers or something that it doesn't matter where you live then yes you will be able to win so we're gonna have an asterisk and it will be on the calendar uh, that it'll say you know like North America only or mm -hmm. it'll say international some manufacturers do not want us to sell or sorry sell do not want us to ship out of the country uh, so like Helix asked you know is this gonna be just North America only and I was like it can be whatever you want so like okay well we need to we need to like so unfortunately day one that's only gonna be US yes. because they were specific that it had to be just the US and I was like okay fine mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but we're, we're at their mercy but we've tried to make it so that everyone has everyone at least has at least one opportunity to win something I mean I sent a pair of sunglasses to New Zealand. They were like free sunglasses. It cost me 35 bucks to send a pair of sunglasses uh, to New I Zealand. I live in Antarctica. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get uh, there. No, we're not gonna pick names from the chat. We're gonna announce what it's gonna be and then you guys gonna send an email yeah. with the answer that we're gonna ask you. So nine, so not nine o'clock, but like 10 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. we're gonna go on one of our five uh, social media. So mm -hmm. we have five social medias. We have two YouTube channels, this one and the other one. We have one Instagram and we have two Facebooks, Five Star as well as the 12 Volt Clean Wire Club. Mm -hmm. We're not going to tell you which one we're going to go to. All right, that's that's not the point. But we're going to go in the morning and we're going to ask a question. So for example, Helix, it's the US, you know, the distributor that's giving us the equipment is US based. And what they want as their question is to go on to their website using their dealer locator and they want you to tell them the closest store to where you live that sells helix all right right and then we're going to give you an email address that you're going to send that email answer to we're going to cut it off at five o'clock p.m eastern standard time all right then we're going to randomly pick someone from those emails obviously the answer has to be correct mm -hmm. and that's it and then you win so another day, let's say audio control, they're gonna ask a question. We don't know what it is yet. Any. We're gonna go on one of our social networks yeah. and we're gonna say, hey guys, so today, audio control, we have two LC, LC1I, or LC1, LC1Is. LC1I, yeah. We have an LC1I, two of them. We have an LC2I Pro, we have an Epicenter, we have an LC1.800, is that it? Mm -hmm. We have oh. a 608. Oh, we have a DM608. All those prizes, all right? One so day. That means that everyone that submits has the opportunity to win one of those prizes. So that was like six prizes, I think? Mm -hmm. Six. So there's gonna be six winners that day. Yeah. yeah. All right? All you have to do, answer the question in an email, mm -hmm. and we will give you, we will pick a winner from whoever submits that day. And then we'll email you, hey, you won. And then we'll come back on before we, call, before we leave at the end of the day and we'll be like, hey, guess what? You're the winner. Yeah. And that's it. That's, it's, it's super simple. The hardest thing you're gonna have to do to win is answer a question. Actually, the hardest thing is figure out which one of the five networks we went on. But my guess is once you're playing along, you'll be like, super easy, you know? So that's gonna be cool. I mean, literally, you don't have to do anything other than an email. And that's it, so. But we will, there will, when the calendar comes out, there'll be an asterisk to say if it's international or non-international. <sighs> All right, 2020 Toyota Sienna. Can I tie into the passenger side speaker for DC offset or only driver side? I uh, know you go, you, you, in, all the speakers do it. It doesn't matter what speaker. Every single speaker has DC offset. So mm -hmm. you can get anywhere you want. 
Just uh, that. Tweak 88 versus the Helix Mini. It's going to come down to a channel thing and yeah. what you're trying to do. Okay. So a Tweak has eight channels. Yes. A Helix has six channels. Six channels. The Helix has a center channel up mixer. So if you're gonna do front, rear, center, sub, pretty nice. Not um, the, the jail. Tweak mm -hmm. has, uh, you can designate something as a center channel, but it does not have an up mixer. So that's up to you as far as, you know, they're both excellent products. Obviously we have them both, I like them both. Um, it's hard to choose. And that's why when we were asking, you know, when El Fuego asked earlier, I'd buy the new stuff because I want to play with something else. Yeah, why not? With a six channel Stinger RCA cable and a Punch P300, do you connect the Stinger RCA directly to the P300 wire harness or do you use an extension that the other amps are going to are going to be close okay all right so here's 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 the thing i have a six channel rca and this is always the problem with running a multi-channel rca if all the things aren't stacked right next to one another so i have let's say a four channel amp here and i have a six channel rca pull the rca apart you can you can pull that you can pull that rca apart so it has these little notches that say f r and s you cut it and you can make it a four channel and a single, all right? So you can spread them apart as far as you want. Mm -hmm. If you don't wanna do that, there is another option since you're going with a Rockford P300 subwoofer. If you'll notice those RCAs that come off of there, have, it's a gray, gray and white pair. So you have mm -hmm. gray, black, white, black. Um, and what those are used for is you're gonna cut the RCAs off and that's how you hook it up high level. You can cut the wires, move the female ends to where they need to be to connect to your RCA, the 4000 that you ran, with two pieces of speaker wire between them and solder those together and extend the harness as long as you want. Oftentimes, what we will do is we will just cut those off and run them all the way up to behind the radio where we'll take a set of the Stinger X12 male RCA adapters and solder those on and plug it directly into the back of the radio. So, all right. So those are the female this RCAs off the This probably not the right one, but this is, this is how it looks. They look close enough. Yeah, it looks like this. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, these are ones that we've actually, these are ones we've actually cut off. So uh -huh. you, can, you can lengthen, put a piece of wire here and lengthen these as long as you want. Yeah. Whatever so, you want. Whatever you want to do. But yes, there's no wrong answer to that question. That's awesome. That is awesome. Good call. All right, what do you got? They're, they're just they're just flowing. It's like there's so many. Oh, you can. <laughs> hey! Hey, Henry. Hi, Hello, Fernandez. Aren't, aren't the cars to put big systems in? I No, you know what? I, I don't. I disagree with that. Hybrids are the cards put big systems in. You just have to make sure you get the right equipment to put in there. Um, you want to make sure you get an amplifier that works, uh, is very efficient, um, and will also work into low voltage. So, for example, like Kicker CS, a Kicker Key, which is small, not really, but a Kicker CS is designed to play all the way down to 8.5 volts and still put out power. Uh, it, when we went to Kicker and we did the Amp Dyno, we used the 801, we played it at nine volts I think was the lowest or nine and a half volts or something like that and the amplifier mm -hmm. worked it still played but there are small amplifiers so look at the amplifiers that go inside of your SUVs uh, the little the little ATVs I'm sorry like a, a Rockford mini T series amplifier mm -hmm. you get the T750.1 is designed to go in an ATV you yes. put it in a car it's even better it's a 900 watt amplifier it's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, Sound Digital, 1204, 1202. 801 he has in his car. The 801 is this big. 801. The, and the four, the four, I'm sorry, it's a little bigger. The 404 is this big. The 801 is like that big. And they put out a tremendous amount of sound. Yeah. It's 800 watts. It's, in your car, you have 1200 watts in an area that's this big. Yeah, like this big. Okay. Be big so, big, no, yeah. there's, in the 20, in the, the 2400s or, or the 1200s or, or yeah, you can get as crazy as you want, but you have to pay attention to the product you're buying. Don't just go buy some 12K. 
<laughs> All right, Drew, thank you for the $20, man. 2020 F250 with the BO system. Looking to do something nice using the AudioFrog GB series. Oh, nice. And either Audio Control or Helix DSP. I'm getting recommendations to go three ways from. Do you think it's worth the extra 2K? Yeah, it is an extra 2K because you got to have those A pillars done. Um, so we did a we did a friend a favor, uh, Mark Rutledge from iData. He lives in California, <laughs> and he asked us to do him a favor, and that was he wanted audio control amps and he wanted a three-way set. So he ended up going with a set of the Morel. Uh, late. Yes, thank you. He ended up going to the three-way set of the lakes. So I got him in touch with our guys over at MTI to make him the A-pillars for his truck. Mm -hmm. They they already they they buy the A-pillars in bulk from Ford, so they just have them there. Uh, so we had him make the late A-pillars for his Ford, and then he put the tweeter in the factory location. I'm sorry, then he, where did he put the tweeter? Uh, and the same thing. Uh, three and a half and the tweeter on the top. I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. um, but he had them make him his A pillars and he loves them and he's super excited to have them. We typically don't do that. Most of the time we just do a really nice set of two-way components, which is normal. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want that... If you want a three-way set, just to have a three-way set because you've never had it before, I'm not going to be the heartbreaker to tell you not to do it. However, a high-end set of six and a half components. So for example, like you could just step up to, let's say, instead of a, a, a flax series three-way, you could set it to a, a set no, of K2 like he's, coax. He's, he's or, going with the GB. So dude, yeah. you're gonna do you're gonna do GBs. Mine as well, just go for it. You're gonna go crazy, so why go not? Go crazy. 2K. Uh, All right, hold on, wait, let, me, uh, let me read this real quick from Aperture X. Yeah. XTC. Yeah. Uh, 2020 GMC Sierra, Morel Tempo Ultra 692s or Virtue 602s for good mid bass to match with four DC audio 8 inch subwoofers. Rear will be Tempo Ultra 602 integrate, er, Integras. Integras. I don't know why I said Powered Power by all audio control. Ooh, boo. I mean, you got four eights. I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the Tempos. Really? Even though I really love the Virtues. Personally, I would go with the hybrids. Yeah. If I could, if you could swing the hybrid 602s, yeah. you'd be way happier. Mm -hmm. I could, I mean, it's it's like double the money, I know. But dude, yeah. you'll you'll be like stoked mm -hmm. with the Integras. I'm sorry, the integration, the geez, old man. <laughs> the Integras, yes. Uh, we weren't gonna the show hybrid. you the hybrids. I don't know, okay, we weren't gonna show you guys these tonight, but since you asked that question, we're gonna show them to you. Um, these, just open the top, man. Okay. Just, just open it up. I'll open it. You grab your camera. All right, so these are the new hybrids, okay? This is the three-way set. We're going to use it as a two-way set to go into Fernando's car. So we'll be putting these in, I think, next week. I think is, is when it's scheduled to go in. Uh, that's me. That's a good picture of me. But these, what makes these, especially because you got four eights. Yeah, that's how you get the grill off, my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these, so the hybrids, two-inch voice cool, but these are a little bit more efficient. So this is a, this is like a this is like the best of both worlds. You get that morel sound, but you get it a little bit more efficient, a little bit yeah. more a little bit more lively sound because they didn't go full three inch voice call on this. They went a little bit smaller, um, so that makes it do more with less. Uh, but this guy is so freaking awesome. And then the tweeter to match up to it is this little sexy beast right here. Um, yeah. And I know, like, it's funny when you look at a tweeter. This is the M, this is the new MT three hundred, and then of course they come with this. They come with the awesome, you know. But if you're gonna go active, you won't need these. But Morel does a, a bang up job on their their passive crossovers. They make them look so sexy. You almost mm -hmm. you almost just want to use them because I just want to cool. wire in and yeah, put it on just, just because. Just put them in there. They're yeah. not there. They they're just not, look cool. They're not doing nothing. But just for the look, you know. I love the Virtus. I think those are phenomenal speakers. Mm -hmm. They sound great. Mm -hmm. I love every choice that yeah. you gave me. I mean, like, they're all awesome. Yes. But, I'm telling you, you know, it's a brand new truck. It's super sexy. If you could swing it. Yes. Now, if those are my only two options, we got Virtus, we got, I'm thinking the 692s. Wow. I, 
I, I, I just, I'm just feeling the 692s. She's feeling it. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing anything else with it. I'm just touching it. Ah, uh, Fernando always gets nice stuff. I know, right? I know. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm going to go full active. Are yeah. those available now? They are available now. Yes, you can They've go to just Morel. just started shipping them. Yeah. So. Morel America? Um, yeah. All right, let's head over to the laptop real quick because we got stuff we need to talk about. Um, one of the things that people were asking a lot about when we shot the video for the Ground Zero, um, GZ RB 220 SPL was, uh, we got them from overseas. No, they're available in the United States. Um, you get you get them here in the United States. Uh, I, I'm not going to buy anything from Europe. That's way too far to, to get something. Um, but if you go to groundzerousa.com, yeah, that's it. You know, they saw the box. You have the dealer locator located right here in the, the box, corner. Just the empty box. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me switch sides. Right here where it says dealer locator. If you type in dealer locator. You can search and you can find a dealer near you, unless you live right here in the middle of the U.S., in which case they're actually working on that area. Um, they, just signed, they just signed a new rep firm to handle this area because of this hole right here, which is like pitiful. Um, well, they have a dealer in Hawaii. So all you have to do is use the dealer locator and then you can find it. Now, if you want to, uh, the other thing was you couldn't find it on the website. And you are correct, it is very hard to find on the website. But if you do GZ uh, RB over here in the search tab, they will populate right there and you can click on them and here, we're still in the USA page and you can find all the additional information you want on them. Uh, I also put links in the uh, show notes to get to those pages. So if you don't wanna go through all that, um, but yeah, so that was, that was one of the things we wanted to address that today. I did not get them from Europe. They are here in the US and I know they're here in the US because what makes it really nice for us is that the warehouse that ships out to everyone in the country is in Miami. So we get stuff next day. Awesome. Um, back to the laptop. So that answers that. Make sure you go over to the Clean Wire Club on Facebook, become a member, start posting your cool pictures. As we showed earlier in the day, DNF tool drawer, guys. This is where we put stuff. This is what makes your lives easier. This is where we put all our tools, the cool things that we use for installation, like the foam. It's all here mm -hmm. with links so that you can just go get that stuff. You should put something like this in there. We, well, that's not available yet. No, I'm saying. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You were here. Teespring.com slash store slash five stars, a place you can go find cool five star shirts. But I would be amiss if I didn't mention this place which is teesprings.com oh, slash store slash the boring life of Dean and Haley. It's just the boring life, by the way. Here you can find all the cool shirts uh, to represent that channel. Uh, big fan, boring, boring. And then if you're a Christmas nut, this is Haley's favorite shirt this year. Uh, we just designed this one because it's Christmas, people. Just because it's Christmas, the boring life. Um, there again, so if you're interested in some boring life paraphernalia, uh, it is located there. And that's it. That's all we got. I know. It's been a fun week. It's been a rough week for you. Definitely has. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's in 5.1. Mm. 110. I can tell you right now on your 5.1K, we've put two T2... 10 inch t210 t rockford t1 10 t's there we go and a ported box off of the fifth channel on the 5k in an f-150 it is stupid amount of bass so if you're looking to, to go past the 110 because you feel you need more you have plenty of power there to power some real subwoofers um all right that's it guys that's the show thank you so much for tuning in as always it's been a fun week it's been a Saturday. Tonight is Saturday night. For those of you that can still go out and do stuff, unlike the rest of the, uh, the California guys, sorry, you're, you're, you're locked in. That yeah. That sucks. But um, did we get... Yeah, we got the... Okay, so we, mm -hmm. we... Okay. Uber, Lyft, they're cheap. Call a friend. Do whatever you need to because you're not going to want to miss December. We got yeah. a lot of stuff going on in December. We'll be live Monday, as usual, on Facebook at 6.30. And then we'll be live again, Turkey Day, Thursday, 
at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at the beach doing Q&A, having fun, going, you believe the, look at that beach. Uh, Haley be there. That's it. I know, it's going to be so much fun. And then, of course, we'll be back here Saturday because unlike the rest of the world, we'll be working all those days. We have one day off. Oh, I know a lot do. of you guys are out there, too. We're all blue-collar working men doing our thing and women, whatever works. I thought we have the rest of the month off. I want the rest of the month off. Uh, so there we go. That's what we got planned for you next week. And, of course, dude, just be here for December. December will be here before you know it, and you guys will be winning some stuff. A lot of people are going to be super happy. I'm super happy, and it's costing yeah. me money. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then also be looking forward to the release from Mobile Solutions. If you guys don't follow Mobile Solutions you should. at mobile, mobile underscore solutions, some whatever, just type in Mobile, mobile Solutions Car Audio. Uh, be stay Instagram. tuned for that. Of course, we'll go on and we'll talk about it, of course, but... Uh, excited next week hopefully will be the week we get to release the product that we've been working on for months oh my god months and so pretty it's cool a um, lot of months it's a lot of months and it's like so simple it's silly uh we can't wait but that's it that's all we got you so guys have seven. a great night have lots of fun you know Bye, it's cold enough you know it's almost some more season for us I'm gonna buy that fire pit. You guys will have to come over. Really? You think you Sebastian would like that? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do that. All right, guys. You have a wonderful night. We'll see you later next time. Bye, guys. Bye.